Kindly take down notes, you cannot remember everything. And click the subtitle so you both can hear and read. Good day welcome to the second week of Web Systems and Technology. Today we will discuss about designing a website specifically using hypertext markup language. The hypertext markup language. HTML is a documented layout and hyperlink specific language, it can specify ways to display contents of a document, text, images, support media, special links, and internet resources. HTML files are portable due to being platform dependent, they can be coded slash created on one computer and then viewed from another through a web browser. And an organization called the World Wide Web Consortium maintains HTML standards to ensure most browsers can compile slash interpret HTML. At the end of this lesson, the students should be able to apply the basic technology on internet and on website that incorporates using HTML. Create and design a website using HTML. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a computer language devised to allow website creation. It is created on 1980s by Dr. Tim Berners-Lee. Hypertext is the method by which you move around on web on special text called hyperlinks which bring you to the next page, which can be divided by hyper and text. Hyper refers to creating linked and nonlinear structures of information while text refers to the words on the computer screen that we are marking up. Markup is what HTML tags do to the text inside them, markup is the process of preparing the text to define how it displays when viewed as pages by marking them with tags. Language is a system of signs used for communication, whether written or oral. What do I need to begin creating a website using HTML? Number 1. Creating a folder also called as directory. Number 2. Install a browser such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, and the like. Number 3. Word processor or text editor programs. Before, text editor programs are the sole method in writing HTML, as they provide the means to produce the syntax and structure of web pages. Examples of plain text editors are WordPad and Notepad. What you see is what you get, WYSIWYG. HTML editors came with the interest in the development of web applications. WYSIWYG HTML editors not only allow web programmers to type in code like they do on text editors but also compile and produce the resulting web page. Examples of WYSIWYG editors are the online versions such as the W3Schools Triad Editor, or offline versions such as Adobe Dreamweaver. HTML consists of basic tags and attributes that make up its foundations. The HTML structure. There are four basic HTML tags. Number one. HTML tags. It specify the beginning and end of an HTML page. Number two. Head tags. It specify the prologue for the file. Number three. Title tags. It defines the title of the page. Number four. Body tags. It comprises the document body where you put the contents of the document such as links, text, headings, and images. To establish basic web page structure you need to Number 1. Type in the required elements. Number 2. Use indentation to determine level of depth between elements. Number 3. Always type elements names in uppercase letters. The HTML element usually begins and ends each and every web page and its sole purpose is to encapsulate all the HTML code and describe the HTML document to the web browser. Head element usually follows next, tags placed within the head element are not directly displayed by web browsers. Title element, the words you write between the opening and closing title tags will be displayed at the top of a viewer's browser. Body element will encapsulate all of your web page's viewable content so this is where all visible content is placed such as paragraphs, pictures, tables, and etc. HTML elements is defined by a starting tag, and if the element contains other content it must end with a closing tag. 
On the example we use the element paragraph as you can see it starts with the opening tag P followed by the element content it might be words, sentences, or paragraph. Lastly we close it with the closing tag. Here are the samples of HTML basic tags. Number 1 heading tag. Number 2 paragraph tag. Number 3 line break tag. Number 4 center content. Number 5 horizontal lines and lastly preserve formatting. Text flow in an HTML document can be structured using headings to give emphasis on a web page's important parts. HTML defines six levels of headings that can be used to structure text flow. Headings elements H1 through H6 are generally used for major divisions of the document. Each heading level corresponds to the level of importance of that section, use in order of importance. H1 tag pair denotes that its contents are the most important while H6 tag pair is the least. When writing an essay, you can emphasize the different sub-ideas concerning the main topic by dividing each idea into a separate paragraph. And When an unfamiliar or very important word or term is to appear in a paragraph, you format it in either bold typeface or italics. Paragraph level formatting one of the commonly used HTML tags used to break apart blocks of text into paragraphs. Paragraphs start with a P tag and ends with the corresponding end tag. Line break tag. Whenever you use the line break element, anything following it starts from the next line and this tag is an example of an empty element, where you do not need opening and closing tags, as there is nothing to go in between them. The line break tag has a space between the characters br and the forward slash. Line break. Allow the text to break on a line or continue to the next line of the paragraph or text block. Its tag is an empty element. Does not have a closing tag because it marks a position and does not contain any content. The example will move the text to the next line of the paragraph every time the line break tag is used. Break tags are typically used within paragraph tags and not outside. Centering content. You can use center tag to put any content in the center of the page or any table cell. Horizontal rule. Causes the browser to display a horizontal line in the document. Presents a way to visually separate sections of your document. The example demonstrates how horizontal rules can be applied in different ways in paragraphs. Unlike line breaks, horizontal rule tags can be applied outside of paragraph tags. Horizontal rule attributes. Attribute size. Is height of the rule in pixels. And its default value is 2 pixels. Attribute width. Is width of the rule in pixels or percentage of screen width. And its default value is 100%. Attribute na shade. It draw the rule with a flat look instead of a 3D look. And its default value is not set or 3D look. Attribute align. It aligns the line left, center, or right. Its default value is center. Lastly is attribute color. It sets a color for the rule i.e. 3.0 or later. Its default value is no set. Paragraph level formatting does not only consist of elements that change the entire paragraph, but also the text within it. Sometimes, you want your text to follow the exact format of how it is written in the HTML document. In these cases you can use the preformatted tag pre. Use pre then content and closing tag, by using this it breaks away from the HTML rules. Preserve formatting specifies exactly how a section of text will appear in the web browser, and the text will appear exactly as typed. HTML markup tags are not used and it always displayed in a monospaced, fixed width font. Aside from appearance, text in paragraphs can also change without the use of either logical or physical tags through the font element. In the simplest way, you give emphasis on an important word or phrase in a paragraph by writing the word slash phrase in bold slash italics. Character formatting. Specifies the appearance of individual characters. Includes special characters. Used for creating preformatted text. Aligns text. Changes the font, size, and color. There are two methods of formatting characters in paragraphs. 
2. General ways to apply formatting to text. Number 1. Physical style. Number 2. Logical style. Physical style formatting. Has tags that indicate exactly the way text is to be formatted. Indicates a specific chain in appearance. Physical tags. Bold tags, make text in between the tags appear in bold typeface. Italic tags, make text appear italicized. Monospace tags or typewriter tags, makes text appear in standard or modern monospace or typewriter font, courier new being a common font. Strike through tags, make text appear with a horizontal line running across it. Underline tags, make text appear with an underline beneath the text. Big and small tags, either increases or decreases the text relative to the actual text size. Superscript and subscript tags, makes text smaller and positioned either slightly above or below the current line, this is useful for mathematical equations, referencing, and footnotes. Most physical tags are used according to the importance of text within a paragraph. Developers must find a powerful, consistent way through the physical tags to emphasize importance within paragraphs.